Hi, I'm Tim Ray Jeff. Water's pretty dirty, isn't it? So uh, instead of fishing today, I thought we'd do some casting. And uh, take a minute to talk to you about fiberglass versus graphite fly rods. Graphite rods made from carbon fiber are arguably the most popular material for fishing rods in the whole world. And uh, when I grew up and I started fishing, we didn't have carbon fiber, so we used fiberglass or even bamboo rods. And there are some distinct advantages to each material, and I thought I'd go over what those advantages are of one versus the other and kind of point out kind of why maybe glass is making somewhat of a comeback in the fly fishing world. Carbon fibers are very stiff for their weight. That's why they use them to make space shuttle parts and you know every super bow and arrow and ski poles, everything it seems nowadays is made from carbon fiber. Uh, because it's light and stiff, the thickness of the rod could be thinner uh, so that the rods tend to be lighter. With fiberglass fibers, because they're not as stiff, to make two rods that are about the same stiffness, like these are both number five weight rods, we have to use thicker walls or make this uh, the end up the glass rod ends up being quite a bit heavier than the graphite rod. What that translates into is when we're casting, because the rod has to lug its own weight plus the fly line, uh, fiberglass rods for a given stroke tend to roll the line out a little slower. And uh, let's see if I can demonstrate that. So here's two five weight rods. Whoopsie. One's graphite and one. I don't know if you can see that, but the glass rod, the fly landed after the graphite rod. So two identical casts and the graphite rod delivers the line a little bit faster. But some of the advantages and some of the things that we look for in fiberglass are two things. Number one, because it's a little heavier and because it recovers soft, uh, slower, what you get is a little more what we call sole from the rod. When a rod is a little heavier, it recovers slower, there's a little bit more vibration, and if you had to cast in a pitch black environment with a fiberglass rod, you kind of get a little more feel. I can feel when I've made a mistake because, or when I've made a good loop because there's more wiggle. With a lightweight graphite rod, when I make a cast, it's like, geez, I'm not sure I felt that. So glass rods, the vibration and the recovery of glass rod is what give them their soul. And in most of my fishing situations, I'm not trying to throw 100 feet on every cast, so glass rods are fine. The second thing that's, or the other thing about glass that people don't realize is the glass's elongation factor. And what that means is these fibers stretch. So I can take a glass rod and when I'm trying to fight a fish and that fish surges, the fiber, glass fibers continue to absorb and flex, which helps protect my light tippets. And I have friends that f switched over all their light trout fishing, they use glass, because when they hook a fish on 6X, 7X, really light tippet, mm, the fish surges, the glass absorbs it, it actually prevents them from either breaking the tippet, or in bigger fish, it prevents you from hook, pulling the hook out of the fish's mouth. So, glass, while it may be yesteryear's material, has a place in almost every fishery today. So I hope you uh, understand the difference between glass and carbon fiber and thanks very much and check out more videos on gink and gasoline.